Driver, turn driver! Left, turn left, turn left. Excellent teamwork. Good to see. Just keep it coming, just keep it coming like that. Excellent work, fellas. Geelong, to their credit, actually made a decision at the start of last year. They did a real strong reassessment of their footy club and of one another. And they said, we've got the talent in our group. And they just took all before them. And we've got that opportunity to do the same thing. To do the same thing. I got rid of tendon in okay. my hammy. It's back. <laughs> You did not go hard enough. Unless you reassess some of these goals here about how tough and hard we have to be right across the board, we're going to be bridesmaids come September. I can guarantee you that. You reckon the Sydney Swans compromise on this? Do you reckon Collingwood do under Malthouse compromise this area of the game? <laughs> hey, what's our number one team rule? Go when it's short term. Go when it's short term. Win the hard ball when it's short term to go. And we are too choosy at the moment. Too choosy. I don't want to be asking any questions at the end of the year in this regard. Number one team rule, and let's get it right. In this, the 150th year of Australian football, one of these clubs will be crowned AFL Premier for season 2008. Flag, I think every minute, every week, every day, every minute that goes past, I think people are realising now that there's four quarters of footy between, between where we are now and the finding out who that Premier is. But today is about what happens today. The scoreboard is going to be nil-nil apiece at the start of the game. And so there would be one in today's two and a half hours, and Geelong have been clearly the best team for a couple of years, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Hawthorne were a genuine challenger, who were in really good shape over the last month. We've got something that's just sitting right there. It's just sitting there. Is it reachable? Yeah. Here it is. But it'll be decided not by how good Geelong is, but it'll be decided by the people in this room. You want to touch it, you guys make the decision. I'll tell you one thing, a day like today, that's what's so good about playing this side. Because they hate quick elusive forwards, but we've got good ones there. Sharks. They have to have forward momentum. Sharks die. They die if they get caught in a net because there's no water and oxygen running over the gills. So as soon as they stop, they die. What's that got to do with this? They're trying to come through us like a shark. Good luck to them. Good luck to them on the grand final, big stage, lots of pressure. The best defensive pressure side of the competition they're coming up against and they haven't got a win-loss ratio record against us that favours them over the last five times we've played it. And we have to kill this shark as early as we possibly can. Because if it just sits there, the shark is just going to die. And that's reach your goal and trample on anyone who tries to stop it. We've got seven, seven minutes till the warm up, warm up inside our gate. This is the old NASA home time. Uh, this is a magnificent sight, isn't it? Grand final day at the MCG. Blue sky, no clouds, sunny out, 22 degrees. Can it get any better? It's not your man, it's our man. It's not individual goals, it's our goals. It's not from one of us chasing hard and all of us. And that has been the strength of that side for the whole year. Just from relentless sea footing. season 2008. An extraordinary story this football club. Away we go to the grand final. Back to back for the Cats. Look at the Hawks pull off a 
an upset. Him and he gets back up. He's battling to get back up, buddy. It's a big moment, and buddy's just a little ginger. He's got time now. He's a good finisher. Strolls in, can think all about it, and miss. Well, you just have to handball it over. It was 50 metres in the clear. Too much time to think. It's a mismatch. Stewie can't catch him. He immediately attracts a crowd. against a quality opponent. At some stage, you'll come back and bite you on the ass, and it has done that. We got twisted there, Jerry, on the, on the sidelines with X. We got back into the contest. Well done. We got back into the fucking contest around the middle of the ground. Camo did a good job. So did, so did Twister. Second jumps were a little bit better. Boys, just come in close. Come on. Just come, this is where you fucking do your things like you and how hard we work as a group and how much you like to be mates for Come on. Something to bind you together. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! It will be survival of the fittest. Start of the final turn. Hawks lead by 17 points. 91. Oh, John's way. The kick to Buddy. Buddy's marked on the side. Five. Play on. Plays on around the kick. Left foot kick. He's kicked it. Buddy's got it. Buddy's kicked the goal. I think that's the goal that's going to get Hawk on home. He's taking a piss. <laughs> oh, the crowd has gone for serve. A boil over. Now a distinct possibility. The football oh, no. is there. Great captain's goal. It is there and they are home. <laughs> the Hawks are home in the 2008 Grand Final. Cheers. Seeds here are just unbelievable. Team on and off the field that turned out to be. Irrespective of premierships and the journey and all the, the the triumph that you try to achieve along the way, the best thing you get out of footy is the mates that you make along the way.